everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today is one of those one of those days where there's no jewelry, there's uh, there's no nice clothing. <laughs> I'm in a hoodie. My hair is messed up. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with all of you, I'm not feeling that great. But I definitely wanted to get this video up um, and then, you know, go get it edited and all that good stuff so that it's up either before or at least on the day that um, I think this is going to be released. So it'll be over on Patreon for a little while first, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, and then over on my YouTube channel. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Dior 709 Iconic Muse eyeshadow palette. I have all Dior on my face. I will have those items in the description box. But if you look at this, it is a similar story to things we've seen before. And it is also similar in nature to the Mitza palette, the eyeshadow wardrobe that uh, hopefully is going up at the same time or right before this one. Um, it's pink and it's got some peach shades in here as well, but you know, again, not my color story. Uh, but in that vein, there are other spring releases from Dior, and the other ones are uh, Bronze Sepia, which is $4.99, which has a little bit more of a... I like this color story more. Uh, it's, it's like a browner kind of shades, and I like that one. Um, that video will be up soon. And then the Cruise Collection one, which is Pret-a-Porter, which is $3.49, which has more of like a soft cashmere kind of look. I'll, Take it out of the plastic so you can see it next to it. Um, and those, uh, again, I'll have those videos up soon. Um, I think those are, well, soon on Patreon. I don't know when they'll be up on, on my YouTube page. It depends on when they release, guys. I also have Summer Dior and I'll have um, some Spring Chanel and all that good stuff. But anyway, so this color story isn't my favorite. Um, and <laughs> I'll be honest, try, when I was trying to get like up enough energy today, because like I said, I'm just not feeling that great to do it, I was just kind of like, I don't even like the, I don't even like the color story that much. Uh, so if you ever wonder, you know, like if I keep it real here on on my channel, oh yeah, I keep it real, real, real. Um, so this is the best. This is the best we could get. Um, I will say a couple things. The lip I'm wearing is the new lip maximizer. I have this in the um, I think it's called Sparkling Hazel Hazelnut or Shiny Hazelnut or whatever. Uh, the right number down below. I really, 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 really like these. I ended up buying three. I have 018, I have the hazelnut one, which I can't remember the number of, and then I think this is 03. This is the one that was like the holographic lavender. Um, it's it's a really interesting, it looks really nice on. Um, it doesn't look like too much when you just swatch it, but it's a beautiful shade. So uh, I'm probably gonna pick up some more of those because I really like them. Uh, there's pigment there. They have a, a hyaluronic spheres in them, so they actually keep your lips relatively soft, even though they do have that warming sensation. So yeah, Dior did a really good job with those, and I did, didn't even know they were coming. So let's swatch Iconic Muse, and if there are palettes that you want me to compare them to this to, um, I can make sure those are up over on Instagram. We can you know do just some different swatches. I, this color story we've seen a lot from, from Dior, and actually we've seen just a lot in general. This like, I don't know, it's like a peachy pink with this like raspberry shade in there. And I don't know who's asking for that raspberry shade. <laughs> maybe, maybe some of you out there are, but you know, I, I haven't heard people demanding that, that shade. And this shade, honestly, um, it's a tricky shade because it can look good on some people and other people it can just make you look ill because it just makes your you know your eyes look like reddish so this cranberry like shade it's not that it can't be pretty it absolutely can i just don't hear a lot of demand for it so i'm surprised it's in so many palettes that's all um I heard a lot of demands for green. We got a lot of green, so I'm, I'm good with that. I mean, I'll also take more green, but you know, I've heard people talking like, oh, we definitely want green palettes, but this reddish burgundy color seems to be in like, I don't know, like a lot, or <laughs> maybe I just notice it more because I don't like it. That's always possible. So let's put it on the eye and see what we think. All right, um, I'd say this is a satin, this is a satin, this is a satin and these two are mattes, or maybe this is a topper. It's a little hard to tell, but they look satiny to me. Like it looks like it has a little bit more color than just a topper. 
I'm going to put this on the, uh, all right, I think, I think I have it planned out. So hopefully this will go up um, on my YouTube page right after Christmas and Hanukkah and right around Kwanzaa. So happy holidays to everyone, um, regardless of what you're celebrating. And if you're celebrating none of them, then just I hope your day is going well. I uh, hope you have some time off this time of year. It's always nice to have a little time off. That's always good. Um, let's take the, the brown shade that's in here. Start with that one. Actually, let's take the peach shade. Start with that one. Um, I have uh, some time off from work where I am uh, going to be organizing my studio a little bit, filming a bunch of these spring videos to get up on uh, Patreon because I've had these for a while and uh, just haven't had a chance because there's been so many new releases that I had to get videos up so you guys could see it. Um, you know, to do extra ones that frankly, I can't really post just yet on my regular page. I haven't had time to do that. So there's a bunch of catch up there. Um, lots of organization, frankly, just so much to, you know how it is. You wait for your vacation so that you can catch up on all the things that you couldn't get done the rest of the time. And we are having very weird weather here today um, in Massachusetts. I know there's a bad storm hitting a lot of the country, so I hope wherever you are, you're all okay uh, when this goes up. But we didn't get ridiculously cold weather yet. It's coming. It's about to be here. But right now we have, like, gale force winds and, like, an inch of rain. It's, I mean, it's a lot of rain. And uh, my puppy went outside, and he was like, nope, and <laughs> came right back in. Uh, so this is the peach. That's not the reason I just didn't bother doing my hair. I was like... Really, it's just gonna get, you know, I'm gonna go outside and it's, <laughs> it's gonna be like, and it's destroyed in five seconds. Um, so I'm gonna go with the brown shade. I'm going in with the Angie Hot and Flashy. These are the 503 brushes. I, uh, for a synthetic brush, I think this set is extremely good. Um, I think these brushes really work well. They, they're very soft. They do a great job picking up pigment. If you have something that's a little harder to pick up, these will probably do it. Um, if you have something that's really hard to pick up um, and you you know feel like you, you bought something that you can't return or that you're trying to make work, I would suggest trying these and then try something like a Kalinske brush because if that, if you can't get the pigment with that brush, then you're not getting pigment. <laughs> it's not happening. Um, but sometimes if you're using a super soft uh, natural hair brush, you know, you can't, some of these are, are harder to pick up. The Dewar formula is really good. I would mention at this point, if there was uh, a difference in this formula, this is like the formula for all the other quints. It's very soft, blends beautifully. Uh, I really hope that Dewar doesn't mess with this formula because I've heard stories, I've heard rumors that they are changing the formula and with their blushes, which and I do have their blush on today. I love their blush. I love their new, uh, well, new, it's been the last three years. Quince, they really, if they mess with them, I'd be so mad. All right, so this shade went on first, then this brown. I'm gonna take this uh, cream shade and put it in the brow area. Yeah, I mean, I didn't wear Dior for quite some time because before I started the channel because I didn't like their uh, eyeshadow formulas as much. I had a few, but like not very many and um, loved their lipsticks. They used to have this like blue, like hexagon kind of packaging it was awesome. But uh, but their eyeshadow was not so much. Um, and then they came up with the new formula for the eyeshadows like three years ago, and I've loved it ever since. And I've bought every quint ever since. And now I hear they're changing it, and I'm just like, that is not okay. Um, I'm gonna take this burgundy shade. Yeah, I mean, if that happens, if they change the eyeshadow, I'm, I'm gonna take the like a very little amount of this. And you, I'm just going to like put it on the outer corner of the eye. Um, if you like the shade, if this shade looks good on you, absolutely, you know, use more of this. Use more of it um, like all over the eye. Use it um, as like your crease shade. You could even use it, you know, on your eye itself, like the whole eye, you know, eyelid. If, if it's a shade that looks really good on you and you really like it then uh, go for it. I don't, I really try not to disparage like any one shade uh, because again, I know on some people this can look awesome. It's just on me because I'm so pale 
it just makes my eyes look, it, it never looks good. I mean, I've tried, it's not a shade for me. I'm always like, ooh, that's, that's not, that's not attractive. Uh, all right, so then we're gonna take the middle shade, which is like this peachy shimmery shade. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, a similar look with this that I got with the Mitza palette, the um, wardrobe that to me looks like a face palette, but it's an eyeshadow palette. And I'll, I'll tell you guys, you're not, miss in my opinion, you're not really missing anything if you don't get that. Um, if they had made it a face palette, th there would, like, those could have been just blushes and uh, highlighters and they w it would have been great. But in my opinion, they missed the mark by trying to make it an eyeshadow palette and picking the shades that they did. Again, my opinion only. Um, but if you like something that has, like, more of a pinky peach, this would work. This is nice. Um, it's light. It's not super pigmented. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if that matters. Um, if you're looking for this pink kind of shade, I'm just going back in with the first shade, that peach. It's kind of going over the um, crease a little bit. Yeah, this is a little less pink than the Mitza. And that's because I focused on the shades that aren't pink, that don't have a pinkish shade to it. The, uh, the Mitza wardrobe is, is definitely pinker because the shades in there that are browner, I used as kind of blush high, uh, brush, blush um, bronzer. So I didn't really use them on my eyes. So that is the look. It's actually a nice soft look. I really did focus on the four shades here. I really kept that to a minimum. Um, I just know I, I'm not gonna like it if I, if I use a lot of that, guys. So there's just, I mean, it would be a waste because I, I would not like the look and I would not, I would not wear it. Uh, so I'm gonna take the brownish shade and just use that as liner. I mean, I can tell you right now, if they had, if Dior had put a um, different shade in for that burgundy and made it like, I don't know, another brown, like a deeper brown, or maybe a, a even like a, a, even a pink, but it was a, a lighter pink. I would like this a lot more. It's just the shade is just on my list of shades that I don't love. Again, if you love it, then this might be the the palette for you. Um, but I think it looks like quite a few others. Um, and the other spring ones that are coming out, I, I like the color stories more. So uh, let me put on a little bit of mascara so you can see what the final look looks like. Okay, final look with mascara. I actually, similar to my reaction to the Mitza eyeshadow wardrobe, I'm going to have to keep calling it that because it's not the Mitza um, quad, um, Quint. Uh, I actually like it much better when I have mascara on. I feel like the contrast of the black mascara with the pink or peach shades actually looks nice. And I do... I do like the look. I think it's very pretty. I like the way I applied it because I stayed clear of the uh, burgundy shade. Um, but no, this is this is not going to be a, a favorite quint of mine. I think this will be one of the ones that doesn't get used very often. But if this is your color story, the formula is excellent. Uh, it blends really well. And if you want something that's going to be like more, I think this would be more of like a peachy pink except for this shade here, which is definitely, you know, a, um, a almost like, it's not burgundy. I'm trying to figure out, like, it's almost like a deep rose. Like, it's very pretty for, like, a lip color, you know? It's, it's really a nice deep rose shade. Um, but I just don't like it for my eyes. I would like it for my lips. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit burgundy, but it's, you know, it's got that like rose pink kind of thing. And on my eyes, I just, I don't, it's just not a shade that I gravitate towards. But again, if you like those shades, I do think this is a prettier palette than the Mitza wardrobe because I feel like that one, I just don't like the whole setup of that one, to be honest. Like I said, I think it, it, they missed the mark. They should have made it a face palette. I don't really understand the purpose of that one. But anyway, um, so I like this one more, and I do think it's like a peachy, pink, pretty spring look. So I think it's nice. Uh, I think the formula is excellent. I think it blended really well. If you like a lighter look um, as well, except for this one shade, uh, I think this works really well. Like I think everything, you know, blended into a nice, 
uh, springy pink look, peach look. And I don't think it's over pigmented, but I don't think it's not pigmented. I think you could, you know, build it up absolutely, especially with that, with the shade in it. So, you know, again, it, it's not something like there's been some palettes that I've reviewed that don't have any pigment. Those I don't like. This is a soft look and it could be an ethereal look. Um, as long as you keep this out. And if you want something deeper, you use this to make it deeper as long as you like those tones. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon.